Oh, hello, and welcome back to the Joy of Painting Middle Earth. I'm Timbo Took, and I'm happy you've joined me. Of course, this is a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And as you can see, I have a black canvas for you today. This will be a fun one to do. We are going to paint the Gates of Brie. That's right, our hobbits, they make it past the Barrow White, and they come to Brie, and it's a... It's a dark night when they get there, that's for sure, and they've had a very long day. So let's get right into this. I've got a black canvas. I've prepared it with some liquid clear, a very light layer of liquid clear I put on there. And that's just to make that canvas slick and smooth so when we put our paints on, we don't have to use too much. It's called a wet-on-wet -wet technique, and it's a little bit like magic. That's right. And why do we say that? Oh, of course, because we were taught how to paint by a wizard, Bob Ross the Blue. He used to come to the Shire when I was a boy. That's right, he did. He'd come to the Shire and teach us all how to paint. Once a week. Oh, I really loved learning from Bob Ross the Blue. Oh, what a grand wizard he was. Okay, so I've got my titanium white, my phthalo blue, my sap green, my ivory black, uh, burnt umber a little bit of cadmium lemon, and of course, I think I said my titanium white. Now I'm just going to, what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of a misty, misty cloudy color. And I just want the very little bit of phthalo blue. That's right. Bring that, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all. There we go. And that just kind of tones down that white. That white that we have on the brush. Just put that in there. And here we go. Here we go. It's a moonlit, well, kind of a rainy, cloudy night, I guess. And we're just going to come in. And we're just going to put some of this down lightly. Just little crisscross strokes here. Just little crisscross strokes. And I'm doing it just kind of down this way. This is our path is going to be here. And we're going to have some trees and things. And then, of course, the village of Brie right there. So we just, we'll just put this in right across the top. Right across the top. Just little crisscross strokes. There we go. There we go. Put that in. Just, this is just giving us a background, some sky. And we'll go against that. We'll, there we go. There we go. And just lightly on this side, we're going to have a tree or something right there. And then there'll be a tree in here as well. There we are. Now that we put that in, let's just clean off our brush and we'll soften that out. Of course, we clean our brush in odorless paint thinner, and then just down in the rubbish bin, we beat the Sauron out of the brush. That's right, and if the weather ever turns and we get back outside to paint, we'll beat the Sauron out of the brush right there against the easel. But for now, we do it down in the rubbish bin. Okay, I've got my clean, dry brush now. Now I'm going to come in. Oh, and that one, maybe I didn't get it quite dry enough. Let's switch out. There we go. I'm going to switch. Switch to a, a brush that I haven't used. There we go. Otherwise, if there's too much paint thinner there with that liquid, liquid clear that's on there, It'll just make it run, and we don't want our colors running off. We don't want them running off the canvas today, no, no. We'd like them to stay where we put them. There we are, just soften that out. Soften that out. Maybe even circle it in. There we go. Mm 
All kinds of things happening in the back here. You got your own story going on somewhere else. Oh, that's right, but we're focused on our four hobbits as they're starting this journey and they're chased by those black riders. Now they're just looking to find... Oh, they're looking to find Mr. Gandalf. That's right, they're coming to Bree in hopes of finding him. But of course, I don't want to be an egg spoiler of the story. But I think you know it. They didn't find him there. No, no, no. But they did find somebody else. Somebody else. There we go. All right. That just gives us a background there. Now we can start building upon that. Let's put, oh, let's put a tree back here. And I'm going to take my ivory black. And this one is, is there in the back. Maybe a little bit phthalo blue. Lighten it up with just a little bit of that color we, we made there for the sky. And even some, some sap green in there. Just mix that together. Now we're just going to come up here. Just put that on. And then we just tap in our tree. And it's very dark. It's very dark. There we go. No, and if you have to, put a big old hobbit foot on that canvas or on your easel so you're not knocking it off, not bouncing it all around. That's right. Just put the, the indication of some trees back here. There we go, and you see, I've added a little more ivory black in there, so some of it is a little darker than others. <clears throat> Excuse me. That just gives you a little bit of separation in there. There we go. There we go, and that gives you the indication of those trees back there. Now, now let's, what we'll do, what we'll do is we'll clean off this brush. And you wanna make sure you're Cleaning those brushes really good when you're using that liquid clear on there because that seems to run a little bit more. All right. Now we're just going to come with a little bit of sap green. We're going to mix that in. Mix that in just to that light, light color. Maybe catch a little more blue in there. There we go. And what we're gonna do with that is now we're just gonna go and we're just gonna kind of give some light. Just gently tap out the edges of these trees here. There we go. Just... Don't put it on so heavy that you're taking away all your dark there. But just come up and you're putting it on these edges. There we go. There you see. That gives you some shape to your tree. And it gives you a highlight on those edges. There we go. There we go. And it's very subtle, very subtle. Just come back, knock some of that dark off your brush you're picking up. And put it back on the brush. And come in with a little more. There we go. And this is just a light touch. There we are. And that quickly, that gives you the appearance of a whole forest back there. There we go. Now 
There we are. Now, now we have, oh, we have some more, maybe our light source, maybe our moon is shining through the clouds back there. So that's really gonna lighten it up. So we come just knock some of that color off. Oh, and maybe come to our titanium white and just dull it down a little bit right there. There we go. Just bring that out. And we're going to make it really light back here. Now we're going to put in some rain so you can keep those brush strokes just coming down. There we go. Just bring them down, down, down in Goblin Town. Oh, no, don't go there, Timbo. No, no, no. Don't go there. There we go. You see, that makes it look like there's some rain back there. All right. Now that we have that in there, let's come back to that dark color. Let's come back. Darken that up. There we go. And we'll put another big old tree right here. Oh, put a big old hobbit foot on that easel if you have to, if your easel isn't, isn't so steady. There we go. And just with your two inch brush, you're just tapping that in. It'll get a little lost in this corner, but that's okay. There's not much light back there. There we go. There we are. Now you can see that path that gives in back there. Again, let's come to some of that, some of that highlight color. Oh, let's go with the other corner of this brush. There we go. There we go. And just, just giving more of the highlight on the edge and then less as we go back this way. And that gives you some nice, nice dark trees. Right up there at the top. Now I have to step in front because, oh, I don't have a, I don't have a whole professional lighting set up here in the Hobbit hole. So I just work with what I have, work with what I have. Sometimes it makes it a little hard for even me to see what I'm putting on the canvas. So you'll forgive me if I jump in front of you sometimes. There we go. And you see you have, you have your light and then there's an area of dark and then you come in with some more light. That going back and forth between dark and light, that's what makes it really stand out. And that's that what makes that's what makes any story stand out. That's right. That is right. There we go. There we are. And that quickly, we've got that whole forest thing going on back there. All right, let's come, let's come. Let's come to oh, our, our fan brush. We're going to, we're going to, let's, oh, we're going to put in the ground. We're going to put in the path. Uh, we'll just take this and kind of a brown color there for the ground, which makes sense. That makes sense. 
load it up on the brush. Now our path is going to start back here, back here as it comes around a bend. There we go. There we go. And with the black canvas, we have that dark underneath. So we just bring our path in this way and just run that back and forth, back and forth. There we are. And we'll come back and put in some highlight on this path. But for now, we just want this path to come in. And it's going to come down this way. This is where our gate in our town will be. So just march that path in. And then the forest kind of eats some of it up over here. Load up a little more on your brush if you have to. And just taking these broad strokes right across the bottom. And it's just a muddy path. That's all it is. Just a muddy path. It's been raining. So I just hope, I just hope for you at home that that shows up. That, oops, I don't want to knock that off. Don't want to do that again. All right, I'm just gonna give that old fan brush a clean. There we are. Now, now let's come in. Let's come in. We'll get some highlight color there. Maybe scoop up a little more titanium white. Come to some of the brown. And a little phthalo blue, there we go. Maybe a little more brown so that phthalo blue isn't so, so powerful, there we go. Now we just wanna come and we just wanna, we wanna give highlight to our path, just so it shows up a little better, there we go. Because that rain is hitting it and it's giving it a shine. And it's a mixture of mud and cobblestone and things like that. So, <clears throat> there we go. Just put that in, put that in there. This is a path that would be, to walk on it at night in the rain would be very difficult. Your boots. <clears throat> to walk on this path at night in the rain would be very difficult. That's right. Your old big old hobbit feet would sink right down in that mud. And if you're a, a big person, your boots would. There we go. And down here, not as much light as catching it. So we just, just quickly put that in. There we are.
Maybe the path is catching a little light from our, our village. There we are, there we are. Now let's put, there's a big stone wall there at the edge of Bree. So, so we'll figure out how we're gonna make that. Now our wall will come here, but I'm going to mix together kind of a dark gray stony type color. There we go, there we go. But the wall will get swallowed up by vegetation. That's right. There's gonna be some bushes and things. So let's just start it right here, right about there. There we go. And the wall marches back this way, back that way. Now, there's some stones and things that make up this wall. So, we just kind of make a rounded, there we go. We're just making this up as we go along. So if you find something that works better than me, oh, feel free to do that. I'm no expert when it comes to this sort of thing, but I think we've found that just taking the corner of that Palette knife, and we can give it some shapes, some stone shapes in there. <clears throat> and you can take as long as you want doing this. I'm sure you can knock out quite a few stones and it'll look fantastic. Oh, but we're just kind of... <clears throat> We're just kind of steaming along here, so so we'll put these in as quickly as we can. I don't want to take all the time in the world doing this, but... And again, we'll have some bushes and things that pick up more of the light. More of the light back here. There we are. And remember these stone walls, they're just kind of thrown together with some mud and mortar and, and the stones are whatever shape they come in out of the ground. There we go. Just picking that up. There we are. And the thing about doing something like this is you start to get a little impatient. Oh, that's why we always do these paintings we can do so quickly because you have to have a lot of patience to sit here and do stone after stone. It'd just be like doing the trees, leaf after leaf after leaf. Some artists do that, and oh, I respect them so much. They're so good at that. And it gives their paintings so much detail and depth. We just try and find what we can do here. There we go. And you see, once I start to figure it out, I, I get hasty and I just start throwing it on there and then the details kind of fall away. Oh yes. 
That's okay, though. We'll find ways to fix things. And you just use your palette knife just kind of in a round circular motion just to give those stones some shape. There we go. Now as we come to it, as we come to it, one of the things that we'll do is wipe that off. Let's get more of a white on there. Now we'll give these stones, oh, they're just picking up a little bit of light. There we go. And if we had marbled our stones, our color more in the beginning, I wouldn't probably have to come back and do all this. Now would I? That's okay. So if you're just watching for the first time and you haven't tried it yet, learn that lesson from me. Learn it from me. Just make your, your color a little more marbled. That way you don't have to come back and, and drop in some detail like this on those stones, you can do it right from the beginning. Because as I looked at that, I was like, oh, those stones just look like flat. We don't want flat stones making up our wall. No, no. We want them to have shape and personality. Like maybe, maybe one day they'll grow up into a stone giant. That's right. Oh, there we go. And it's just like with making our mountains. We just, just let the canvas decide. Play it back and forth between the knife and the canvas. And it'll decide where the light goes, where it goes, where it stays. It'll give you the shape. That's right. It will give you the sheep. And each time I'm just kind of wiping off some of the dark that we've picked up and then picking back up some of the light. There we are. And if you have a shaky hand, that's okay. That helps. That helps. We don't need anything to be steady and solid here. No. No, that's just part of the game. There we are. There we go. Now let's put a let's put a bush in over here. I'm just going to set that pallet knife off to the side and we'll just come into Oh, let's see. Let's see. We'll do our 1 inch brush. And we're going to come in here just to some of our sap green. Just Tap that onto the brush. Just tap it into some of those colors that were there. There we go. Now we just come up on here and we just tap in a bush. Come back. Get some more of that color on there. Just tap that out so it's not coming off in chunks. And then come back and just tap it on to the canvas. And you see this bush picks up a little more color. And 
then come right over the wall there. So the wall just kind of disappears, fades into the back there. Right behind this. There we go. Just tap that on. Now let's come, let's come to some of our cadmium lemon. We want to create a highlight just to throw on top of that bush there. And there's, it's picking up a little light there. There we go. Right down, grows right down to that wall. There we go. There we are now. We can take our palette knife and just with the corner now, we can just scratch in. There we go, we've just scratched in some branches. Maybe some viney things. And then we just come back and just pop over those because you're not going to see every one of them. Just parts of them are going to stick out. And that way people can see that you have them back there in your bushes. And their eye will pick them up. There we go. Now. Now I'm just going to set that brush off to the side. We might use him again later. And we're going to come back to our palette knife here. We're going to make some lumber on here. So we just pick up a little bit of that titanium white, mix it in here. Just to lighten that up. And, oh, we've got, oh, a beam that runs right here. That runs right down. Right down there, there we go. And there's a cross beam here. And these beams. There we go. Bring it across. And We'll bring another one down right here. And then We have, there's of course, some little houses and things up here, right above the gate. I like to think maybe this one is, maybe this is Harry's house. You know, Harry, the gatekeeper. It's his job to ask questions. That's right. It's Harry's job to ask questions. He means no offense by it, but after dark. He's the watcher at the gate. 
just bring it right down here. There we go. And we'll put a roof on there. Just bring this roof right back this way. There we go. And this part of his house is in a little more shadow. There we are. And we just put some lines in there. There we go. And again, come back to that roof, roof line. There we are. There we go. Maybe even give him a little window up here. There we are. Now, now our gate. Our gate is here and it's very dark. Very dark. And we'll come and highlight this too. I know that's going on quite dark, quite dark. There we go. We just want to get that paint down and we'll shape it with some highlights. There we go. Now we'll come in, got our brush here. We're going to fill in some spots here. Where you've got some boards running side to side. And then our gate, let's, oh, the top of the gate. It's picking up a little bit of, a little bit of light there. And then we'll run this down here. And there's some houses back in here. I 
and we'll put some roof and some windows back there too. But now, let's come Top of our fence or gate here. This is that gate that old Harry stands watch at. Now getting a nice wood color, we'll just bring it down. There we go. All right. Now, we want to take our knife and just create those boards. Just bring those lines right down. There you go. Now, oh, Harry has a couple couple small doors he looks out. So right here is one. That little hatch opening in the gate. And then below it. There's an even shorter one for hobbits. There we go. Now we're going to come back. We're going to come back. And there's another stone wall right here. So let's put in some of those stones again. Just grab that gray stony color and we put it right over the edge there. There we are.
And this part picks back up that stone wall that will run far down the other way. There we are. All right. Now, oh, my head. My head was tilted again. Oh, I do that. I do that quite often. Let's, let's make the top of the gate run a little better this way. There we go. There we go. Now we'll give another. Uh, there's another house right here. Right up here. Oh, these hobbits. It was very intimidating. Seeing these tall, tall houses. They didn't have those in the Shire. There we go. Let's give him a roof here. Right up there, just right off the painting. Runs back that way. And a window in here. There we go. And maybe there's more roofs back this way. And we see some windows back there. Maybe a window here. And another. There we go. There we go. Now. Give a little windowsill there. Maybe. If I could pick up some of that color. There we are. Now you can always, you can always do better on those structures than me, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. But let's come, let's put a little more, a little more bushes and things right down here. Maybe highlight those just a little. There we are. And come to the other side of our path. And maybe there's some bushes that 
pick up a little bit of the light from the town there. And bring that right onto the path. There we go. There we are. And there we have our path. Our path the hobbits cross and they go into the town of Bree there. And oh, they're met at the gate by old Harry. There we are. There you have it, the gate at Bree. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a fun one. I like this night sky with a little bit of rain coming down. A lot of fun things to play with on that one. <laughs> Oh, thank you for joining me. I hope all of you have a great week. Goodbye, and God bless.